Hey, uh, we're here inside uh, the locker room of the defending uh, Division Five state champion, Sierra King uh, Trailblazers, also winning the Southern Section Division Five AA championship uh, last year. And we want to introduce uh, the young women uh, behind this amazing accomplishment from left to right: Gabby Neville, Zoe Goss, Kennedy Burt, Cheyenne Wallace, and head coach Alicia Kamaki. Uh, and Alicia, uh, we'll, uh, we'll start with you. Obviously, it's been it's been a long time since that time uh, since that Thailand game. And now yes. we embark on, uh, on another journey. What, uh, what challenges uh, do, do you face in, in dealing with the team now that is that has the target on its back, that, that has defending or reigning champion in front of its name now? Well, I think for me, it's something that we try to always play that we have that expectation anyway. So for me, the pressure is nothing new. Hopefully for them, the pressure is not going to be anything new um, because we try to strive for that target in every season for every game. Um, we built our schedule ridiculously tough this year um, with the hopes of everybody's going to give us their best game and we'll get a lot of people's best games and kind of be prepared for the playoffs. So. Uh, Gabby, when, when, you, when you have a, a, a winning culture and, and, and a winning environment, it's, it's only natural that, that your friends, your, your peers, people that you know in the basketball community are, are going to expect greatness uh, from you, you establish a culture of greatness people are going to expect more what's it been like just for you guys as people know that the season's going to get started and you know and, and just how your friends and your peers and you know travel all teams or in terms of you know what they're looking at Sierra Canyon and expecting you guys to do this year well um it's like <sighs> um a lot of people at school have been asking, like, oh, are you guys going to win state again this year? So it's kind of like you feel a lot of pressure, but it's also motivational because you just want to, like, please everyone and, like, please your parents and your friends and family. So, uh, so uh, in, in terms of last year, the expectation was to, was to get there, was to, was to reach that destination, to do something that no, no team had, had ever been here uh, before. Has it, has it changed at all in your, in your mind or as the player's mind in, the, in terms of how, you know, how things set up or how you guys set, set your goals this year, the fact that you've already done it? Does it make it easier? Does it, does it make it harder, the fact that you've already been to the top of the mountain and, and try to do it again? I know. I think our expectations are still the same. Like Our coach has been telling us that we want to be able to win a CIA division in any title, so that's what we strive for. And that's what we've been working hard towards. Okay. That's our goal. Okay. Uh, Kennedy, obviously, and a lot of amazing individual opportunities for you during the off season in terms of going to the to the national team uh, team camp. And I know those were things that really excited and motivated you as an individual. How are you hoping to bring that back to this group in terms of just uh, your game flourishing, hopefully allowing their game to flourish, and the whole you know the, the whole team you know elevating the, uh, their stock. Another level even from where you were at last year. Um. Well. Like, I, what, 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 are, what are the things? That, <laughs> what are the things that you're hoping to take to take from those experiences and and, you know, and bring back? Not only demanding of yourself, but hopefully, you know, trying to elevate the level of your teammates around you. I also want to be able to like help my other teammates of like what I've experienced, like going to the USA trials and like going to nationals and just bringing it back to my team. Okay. Uh, uh, what uh, what about in, in, in terms of uh, of a leadership role? Uh, whether it's whether it's spoken or just in terms of uh, your level your level of play. I mean, you're now on that, that upperclassman side. It's no longer you know freshman sophomore anymore. It's it's, it's a junior now. I mean, how how are you hoping to kind of take that next step as uh, as as a leader and uh, as an athlete for this team? Um, I just want to be like I want to be. Kind of like Coach Kamaki because she's a great example of a great coach, and um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Cheyenne, you, you and I had an opportunity uh, to talk about it uh, a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. just in terms of how your your role on, uh, on this team is, you know, has has expanded mm -hmm. even more, and we hope people rely on even more. I mean, you were so instrumental for this group in the postseason and that really seemed to kind of energize you or motivate you in terms of where you, where you not only where you want to take yourself but where you want to take the, the team this year. Yeah. Uh, uh, can, uh, can you kind of, you know, uh, you know uh, reiterate or, or reinforce some of those things in terms of 
not only what you think the, the lady to your left expects of you, but what you expect of yourself this year? Well, um, I think we're going to have a great improvement in the team um, from last year this year because we've been really lost on the second year last year, so it's still a lot of the same players on the team, and we have new talent with um, some of the freshmen and the sophomores also, so I think this year it'll be more um, competitive, and we know now since going to state like the, what it takes, and it's a lot easier being there and knowing um, what, like, what to expect now. So we basically have the same expectations from last year. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Alicia, you've got four captains uh, here uh, by, your, by your side. Obviously, Jordan needs leadership and, and just senior. Oh, right. I know, <laughs> senior, senior rot was you know was, was invaluable. Uh, how does the, the leadership roles how is it now pass along to, uh, to to these four, or how does it need to be taken care of uh, this year? Because obviously, a lot was put on Jordan's shoulders last year. How do these young women need to handle that aspect of it this year? Well, in the sense of um, them, their performance on the court, these were my four leaders on the court last year. So the expectations for what they're going to bring on the court are the same as they were before. Um, we knew coming into the season, losing Jordan, um, that leadership was going to be one of our biggest challenges. Um, not chemistry-wise, because the girls get along so well, um, but as far as all those little things that really the captains and leaders do, um, to mesh between you know the coaching staff and the players and all those types of things, um, so they they understood that um, they actually were just announced yesterday that, that they were going to be the captains of the team. So um, I think they they all knew or you know were hoping for it or wanted it, um, and now it's just been officially determined that it's all on their shoulders. Right. Um, and if whatever year we're going to have, whether that's successful or slightly unsuccessful or whatever it might be, that it's on their shoulders. And I think that they wanted that um, responsibility and. They're ready for it, um, and I've seen improvements, you know, from from the summer till the fall till December, um, and hopefully we'll see improvements, you know, for another two years for some of them. So. Absolutely, uh, Zoe. To, uh, to Coach's point about the uh, about the chemistry, I think that's one of the great strengths of, of this team. A lot of times, teams might build up two, three, four years, win the state championship, everybody graduates, and it's you know it's rebuilding. And you guys are in a pretty pretty unique and pretty blessed situation with the fact that you win a state championship and. You know, and, and the core of the team is still, is still together. How, how valuable is that chemistry going to be for you guys in terms of meeting your, your goals, not only short term, but long term? I think it's very valuable because we know each other's style, we know how, to, how we play, so I think it's going to be very valuable and helping us get back to the state. Uh, Gabby, on, on the court, uh, from what you've seen, even from that, that team that uh, was celebrating at the, at the end of the Pinewood game mm-hmm. last year, where do you see the biggest areas of growth or maturity or development with, with this group now, even, even from as talented and as, as great as that group was playing back then? How, 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 how much have things changed for, for the better even since then with this group? Um, well, I think like... Have you good switches? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think well, us four have become closer and more mature, so it's helped the team because Jordan before had like all the pressure on her since she was the only team captain and um, we've like grown and matured to the point where we could take over for that role and where it's not, it doesn't feel like there's a piece missing from the team anymore and we've just grown like in our Okay. Uh, Cheyenne, uh, the, the thing that I like about Coach Kamaki's style mm-hmm. is it's very self-reflective, you know, uh, I mean it's like you guys are going to know the areas that, you know, that, that either, wh- whether it's considered a cause for concern, a cause for weakness, you know, areas that you need to improve upon, mm-hmm. because obviously she keeps it very real, yeah. um, because it's the only way that you're going to succeed in, in the big picture. Mm-hmm. Um, if there are, it, maybe you look at the scrimmage against modern day, and obviously that will tend to open a lot of eyes in yeah. terms of what you guys need to work on. What, you know, what, what, what are the things right now that you say, hey, we've got all these pieces uh, together and coming back, but the areas that we still need, you know, that we still need to make strides to, to, to be better at, you know, not only now, but in the long term. What, as a, as a team. Yeah, what, what, what are those areas? Oh, uh, yeah, well, defensively, we need to learn um, some of the defensive stuff. We've been working on a lot of it in practice, but it's just the intensity and um, having that pride on defense to really take away another team's, you know, offense and um, just pressing and our press break and just relaxing uh, and taking pressure well because the teams that we're going to play this year have uh, pressure on defense and just learning how to handle that and basically, yeah. Okay. Uh, Kendi, uh, uh, 
obviously, when you play against someone like uh, you know, like Katie Boo and, you know, and those girls, I mean, that's what you were used to seeing at, at, at the camp or whatever. Is it? Is that kind of like it's it's not it's not going to get much tougher or much more intimidating than that when you go up against modern day right away? But it, but in, in terms of that schedule, it's like hey, this this is what we're going to have to expect that you know, every time out this year, like Coach said at the, at the outset, you guys were playing. You know, if it was if it was uh, if it was tough last year, it's going to be you know even that much tougher this year. How how do you guys? Do you, do, you, do you embrace that? Uh, how, how do you guys deal with knowing that you're going to face uh, such a challenging schedule like that? Um, just to know that we could be able to compete with any other team, like including Modern Day, Troy, Windward, and um, scrimmage in Modern Day will like increase our um, like our game in. Right, uh, because it seems like, uh, Alicia, the, the, I mean, obviously, when I see that on your schedule, I know exactly, I know exactly where your mind's at. It's like, it, you know, like we might as well be, be hit, let's not take any baby steps, we might as well be, th uh, be thrown into, uh, to the fire uh, right away. What, what does this team need to understand in, in terms of, uh, like, just pacing? I mean, you guys did such a good job in terms of building, building, building mm -hmm. to be able to peak and understanding that it's a marathon and not, and not a sprint. What does this team you know, need to understand, you know, maybe even that they you know, didn't last year, just in terms of, you know, or just reaffirming, you know, from last year, in, in terms of how, how you deal, you know, to not never get too high, to never get too low, mm -hmm. and just know, know that there's always going to be another opportunity, you know, and, uh, to get to get ready for the playoffs. I, I think we, we talked about it last year, that they're so naive, <laughs> I don't know if they truly know the difference. Um, Is it, are they still naive? They're still naive, okay. that hasn't yeah. changed. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they, if they, they understand the concept of a tough schedule. Right. They can see the list of teams and they go, okay, I know they're good. I know that that has the best point guard in the country, I know that's one of the best post players in the country, whatever. Right. And they can look down the line and they know histories of programs, so they understand that part. Um, what, what my job is and what I don't care if they even understand is is how that is building us throughout the year, like you said, and um, kind of pacing us to to peak at the right moment, you know, ultimately speaking. Um, and I think the you know the challenge is always doing that, you know, that you you don't want to look really, really, really good in December. And by all means, we didn't look really good in November against Modern Day, and I'm fine with that. And I told the girls it didn't. It's a scrimmage for school, um, and even if it was a the first game of the year, we win by 40 or lose by 40, it doesn't matter because we are playing the best possible team at this moment to see what we look like now. I can play them again in three months and we very well might. And if that happens, let's see what we look like then. Um, and we played them in the summer, or it was the fall, uh, in a fall tournament about, what was that, like two months before the scrimmage. And we said, this is what we look like now. What are we gonna look like in November when we scrimmage them? And what are we gonna look like in March when we possibly play them again? So um, all, of it, all of it for us is a, is a gauge. You know, every, every coach, every team knows what their gauge is. Like you said, I, I laid out pretty clearly. We need to work on our transition offense. We need to work on our zone offense. We need to work on our um, ball pressure, whatever it might be. And modern day is our gauge for everything. So we gauge them in September, we gauge them in November, and we'll gauge ourselves against them, um, playing them or not playing them in December, February, January, you know, March, whatever. Right. So, so for us, that was, you know, they're our gauge. Um, when was our gauge. Um, and whether we play them or we don't play them, we're going to constantly compare ourselves to them. Um, and if we can see what we're doing right compared with what they're doing right, or what we might be doing better, there's some things we're better at, um, or what we're doing really poorly at, and we can see what it takes to be the number one or two team in the state, um, then we'll you know, hopefully get to that point. Uh, I'm glad that you brought up uh, when we're, uh, Zoe, let me, let me ask you, what, uh, what needs, needs to happen you know, for you guys in, in terms of, now that you kind of went through facing when we're, we're facing Jordan Canada and facing Christian Simon and those girls uh, last year. What, I mean, uh, like like Coach said, I mean, it's it's a it's a gauge again. It's a, it's a measuring stick for when you play them. But do do you feel better about just being able to having gone through everything that you went through last year, having gone through modern day and scrimmage? Do you feel better about how this group can can handle that opportunity and handle that challenge this year? Uh, yes, I feel like now we kind of have more confidence in the fact because now we played like a team like modern day, and we're going to be playing these high level teams that I feel like. When we play when we're not going to be as scared, we're going to be like more calm and relaxed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, and, and Gabby, is having a team like that in, in your league, where not everybody in, in the state of California can say that you have, it, that you get two opportunities, uh, it, it seemed like, you know, the, 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 obviously on, on those days, the team was feeling, 
a little bit disappointed and a little bit, a little bit beaten up, but obviously the greatest reward was in the long run. And it's like, we're, we're going to take that as fuel and as desire and drive and motivation to make sure that, that, we, that we accomplish our, goal, our goals at the end. So it, it seems like the same way with playing Notre Dame and scrimmage, that it's a no-lose situation for you guys playing a team like that. Because yeah. no matter what, you're going to get better for it. Mm-hmm. I mean, is, is that, I mean, is that, is, is, is that the, is, is that kind of the, I guess the, the greatest, uh, you know, benefit from, you know, from, from having a team like that on your schedule that not only gets to play once, but you get to play twice? Yeah, um, I think, like, um, um, like, well, what, what do you appreciate most of the, about, about the challenge or about the opportunity uh, to, to play against them? No, it's only gonna help you in the big picture. Um, I think those games bring out like our biggest weaknesses, and those are the games that we learn from the most. And so all season we practice and like play other games to prepare ourselves for those games mm-hmm. that we hope to win. And like, but um, um, I think those games benefit us most because we realize what we need to work on the most. Cheyenne, for a team that has won a section championship and state championship, mm-hmm. do, does, is there still an element, like to what Daddy said and to what Zoe said, yeah. is there still an element where this group kind of still feels like it's it, it's, it's the underdog and has, and has to start all over again? Because when you play against a team like Modern Day, or you play against a team like Windward, but it's like, you know, we want to be able to get up to their level every, every day, not just yeah. not just one day. So in that sense, is there still a little bit of kind of the underdog that needs to rise up again attitude? Yeah, not necessarily an underdog, but that um, we're going to be competing against title competition now. And Modern Day is like a really great team, and that can give us confidence because now we're going and playing a tough schedule. But if you can play, you know, one of the best teams in the country as Modern Day and like put, compete against them, then we know what to expect against other teams on our schedule, and so. Um, it's not really being an underdog, but just understanding and knowing what we're going into and um, having the motivation to improve the team to be able to compete with those teams. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alicia, obviously, uh, we, we knew that the offseason was going to lend itself to a change in division. Mm-hmm. Um, but yet, yeah, in, in the big picture, it might lend itself to being a major change, change of, of, of yeah. division. As, uh, again, to their naivete, which is part of what makes them so special. Mm-hmm. Um, has, the, has the prospect of the Open Division e- e- even been approached, or would you not worry about that until later in the year when maybe it seems to be more, uh, mm-hmm. more relevant? Because obviously, you want to focus on having the opportunity to win your division, but at the end of the year, you don't even know if it's like you're in 4A, but it might be totally irrelevant. Uh, well, a couple things. I, I made it very clear when we started the season, we had a team meeting, a parent meeting, I made it very clear that in my mind, we're going to be in that division. Whether we are or not, blessing or, 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 or a curse, but um, I made it pretty clear, so it's our expectation. With that said, the same thing that I said before, we always expect to be able to compete with those teams. So, you know, if we have to play at one Long Beach Poly, Modern Day, when we're, you know, we play those teams, we're going to be playing those teams. Um, I, I probably never would have scheduled the schedule I did, knowing we would meet half of the teams again. Um, but I think that we are already prepared with everything that we do um, on all facets of of the game and of the team and of the season um, to prepare ourselves to play in any division. Whether we'll be successful or not, you know, we'll see, um, but we'll be prepared. Right. Um, and I think that, you know, whether they're mindful of that or not, you know, we, we go through the motions and we do what we have to do. Okay. Uh, girls, I'm going to wrap it up uh, on this. To, uh, to each one of you, for, uh, for as great and as memorable and as just what an awesome emotional journey as, as it was last year. Uh, Zoe, I'll, I'll start with you. What uh, what what are the things that you're really hoping to uh, you know, this season? I mean, your wins and losses, titles are not inside. Mean, what what are the things that you're hoping that if we're having this conversation again in February or March, that, that, that not only you individually but you guys as a group got out of this season? Uh, I hope that we're able to utilize uh, utilize like our, our, our accomplish our goals and that we're able to just yeah. <laughs> yeah, that we're able to accomplish our goals and that we're just uh, a better team from now and that we're able to be put back into the position to go to the CIA and to the state. Okay, yeah, we were, uh, what, what about you? What would be a, 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 a fitting or, or satisfactory phenomenon for you? Um, well, I think that uh, all the things that Coach is talking about now, like working on certain things like our press break or like small 
things that we need to work on. Hopefully we won't still be talking about those problems later in the season and that um, we like reach our goals that we have in the beginning of the season. Okay. Uh, Shane, uh, what about you? I mean, obviously, yeah, you had such a, such a great opportunity to be playing in, you know, in, you know, meaningful section final, you know, unbelievably emotional, thrilling regional final, you know, the state final and stuff like that. How, how, how do you want this, this season or how do you hope that this season is going to, you know, what's, how, how are we going to write the last chapter of, uh, of this season? Yeah, um, I want us to meet our goals that we set and uh, work hard every day in practice and just improve on the things that Coach wants us to improve on and just be able to compete with the teams and have confidence in ourselves that we can play a uh, uh, high competition like the schedule that we have now. And to just, even if we you know, lose some games and um, have some close games, just to play our hardest and uh, improve on the things that we set for ourselves in the beginning. Okay. Uh, Kennedy, uh, obviously, I know more than anything you love being around this group. Mm-hmm. I remember you kept telling me over and over again, but I just want another game because it's like I just want another practice and I just want to continue to be around this group. So in order to be around this group as, as long as possible, what, 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 what needs to happen in order to, to make those dreams a reality again for these guys? To basically keep the chemistry that we have right now and just do our best. Okay. Well, I'm sure that that's all. Uh, the, 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 the head lady in the, in the blue center blast is that you guys just continue to do your best. So, uh, again, Gabby Neville, Zoe Goss, Kennedy Burke, Shannon Wallace, and the lady in charge, Alicia Kamaki, uh, the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers, about ready to kick off 2013 2014 season. Lady, I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you. Thanks.